welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about bridge lens which is a sheet metal stamping feature and also the feature is created with lancing operation so initially i am going to create the forming tool and i am going to show you how to create this feature on the sheet metal component so i have taken a new solidworks part file select the top plane go to sketch select a center point rectangle so this rectangle is 30 by 10 select the extruded boss here we can take any thickness so I am taking the so 2 mm Say okay. Select the front plane. Draw a line. Select the line and right click, select the midpoint and select the origin and make it vertical. So this length is 15, sorry 16. Five mm draw a line at certain angle select these two lines and make it equal. Select Edge, Convert Entity, go to Trim, select a Corner Trim, so now this loop is closed, make it 45 degrees, now sketch is completely constrained, go to Feature, Extrude, Select mid plane, take 4 mm. Now we have to apply fillets at these two edges so how do we consider this fillet radius see here the top side would be 2 mm because this comes inside the sheet metal component so we have to consider inside inside radius and here the outside the bottom side radius is we have to take 4 mm because we have to consider the sheet thickness also so here the bottom side should will be the outside radius so we have to take 4 mm so we have to consider this factor while creating a 
forming tool for this bridge lens. So here I am going to apply fillet on top side. So the this is the inside radius of the sheet that is 2 mm. So I, here I am, I am going to take sheet thickness of 2 mm. Now select uh, radius once again. Take it 4 mm. So now we have to remove the bottom base material. It is similar to lower. So we have to select the front plane. Go to sketch. Keep it normal. And take a corner rectangle. Select this corner and this corner. Go to feature. Select extruded cut. Make it through all both sides. Say OK. So this forming tool is created now. Now we have to apply forming tool feature on, on this model. So here we have to select the top face and the sides will be the material removal. So I am selecting the both sides. See here, sides we are going to remove the material and the yellow portion will be the forming area. Since it looks like a bridge, so it is named it as a bridge lens. So we have to select these both sides for removing the material. Say OK. Now this tool is ready. Now we have to save this in the forming tool folder in the library. See from this library, design library, we have to save this. So there is a shortcut, we can open this folder and we can save this file directly. Here I have created a simple flat sheet that is 50 by 30. So I created with base flange. And this is 2 mm sheet thickness. So whenever we create a lancing feature, we have to remember the sheet thickness. Now I am going to place this forming tool on this flat sheet. See here, we have to consider 0 and I will keep it in top view. So we have to place the location. So right click and select. Now, give the dimension for this. So we have to consider the direction also. So it is showing the bottom side. Flip it. So it is showing top side. So this is how we create bridge lens with the forming tool. Thank you.